Yo, what's going on, guys? Super bitch ass flakes here for today's video. We have what if Shaquille O'Neal made his free throws? We already know he's one of the, if not the most dominant big man ever. I'm talking about like dominance, like you know, using his body and everything. Not the best big man ever. Um, but yeah, it's what if he made his free throws, man? Like, how good would he be? This video is going to tell us that. And uh, as always, guys, I do want your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below. How dominant do you think Shaq would be? Where do you think he would rank at all the time if he was able to actually knock down his free throws? Let's say at like 75, 80 percent. Here we go. The simplest part free throws. The simplest part of basketball. Yet one of the greatest players couldn't seem to figure them out. He got big hands. What's up everybody, it's Jimmy. And before we get into today's video, quick shout out to Santiago. Thanks for all the support, fam. I appreciate it. Go follow the homie on Instagram. I'll put his info on the screen. Make sure to follow me on Instagram as well if you want a shout out. I'm picking Spoiler, I'm not going to go follow Santiago. On, I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll check him out. Maybe he does good stuff. Someone knew every single video. So I was thinking about how some players, regardless of how much they work on their shot, can't seem to get their free throws down. And then I got to thinking about how Shaq was so bad at free throws, he literally had a strategy named after him. The <laughs> hack -a shack Imagine being so bad at free throws that teams just handed them to you and you felt... They actually got a strategy named after me. It's called Bench of Crispy. So, you know, if anytime you throw a player on the bench, well, it's named after me, guys. Helpless at the line. How good would Shaq have been if he could hit his free throws? Well, after doing some research, I have an idea of what the Diesel could have accomplished if he could knock down his free throws. For this experiment, I took the first 11 years of Shaq's career, when he was without a doubt the most imposing player in the league. Over that yep. same span, he averaged 10.5 free throws a game, leading the league in free throw attempts per game five of those 11 seasons. Now, if you never got to watch Shaquille O'Neal in his prime, you need to. The man was arguably the most dominant player the league has ever seen. He was just too big and strong for anyone Ooh, to contain. Wow, he I mean, to pass? put this into perspective, the man led the league in scoring twice. In comparison, there hasn't been a single power forward or center in the entire NBA to lead the league in scoring in the last 23 seasons. But for the most part, we all know Shaq could get buckets. But what if he got more buckets? What if Shaq could make his free throws? He wouldn't have to be a sharpshooter or anything like that, just an average free throw shooter. According to basketballreference.com, the average NBA player shoots 75% from the line, 25% better than Shaq over those first 11 years of his career. Considering he shot an average of 10.5 free throws a game, and he only made about half of them, if we boot- I, I know that sounds bad, but as a Pistons fan, all I'm going to say real quick is Ben Wallace. That's all I'm going to say. Boost his percentage to just 75, he is now making nearly three extra free throws a game. Now, this may not seem like much, but let's look at the numbers. This extra three points brings his average points per game over that 11-year span from 27.6 to an absurd 30.6 points wow. per game. Still not convinced free throws are crucial? Well, consider this. Instead of having two scoring titles, he would have not two, not three, not four, but seven scoring scoring Damn, titles, Shaq? including stripping MJ himself of two of those scoring titles in 96 and 97. Keep wow. in mind, this is all coming from a center. His total points per game over his career would drastically change as well. Over his entire career, if he shot just 75% from the line, he would have averaged 2.2 more points per game. This means that he would have scored 2,655 more points in those 19 seasons, which brings his total career points from 28,596 to 31,251 which brings him from the 10th to the 6th spot all-time in scoring wow, dude. and bringing his career points per game from 21st all-time to 10th. Better than some all-time greats like Kobe, Melo, Kareem, and Bird. Seven straight scoring titles, top 10 all-time scorer in league history, and probably a couple more MVPs, all from a couple free throws. Let's not even begin to talk about, mate. well, I mean, I guess we can talk about for a second here, um, just like later on in his career too, you know, like when he was on the Miami Heat or when he was even like on the Celtics, I guess, or even the Phoenix Suns, where it's just kind of like he was starting to wear out. But if, if he was like hitting his free throws, he still probably could have like prolonged his career at a more dominant pace just based off that. I mean, I think that was a big reason why they stopped playing him a lot. There's a reason the hack shack became a viable strategy for teams in the early 2000s. Shaq's only kryptonite just happened to be the easiest shots in the whole sport. Next time you're in the gym, don't forget to practice those free throws in honor of the diesel. It could be the difference between the player you are and the player you want to be. And as always, until next time. 
I will say, this video was very well done. I thought this was very interesting, a really good way to do a what if video. Um, because, yes, I, I will say, like, there is not really, like, the perfect basketball player. I mean, even guys like Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, LeBron James, Kobe, all those guys, they have something with their game that they need to tweak. So, I think Shaq's obviously was his free throws. Um, I mean, he wasn't, like, really meant to be a shooter, so you can't really say, like, a shooting, like, three years off like that was a weakness. But, yeah, man, I, I feel like every player just has something about them. So, uh, I, I do say that someday we are going to see some player that just... It, it's just going to completely blow our minds, more so than we already are by, like, athletes today. I mean, Russell Westbrook, what he does out there is absolutely crazy. But, yeah, guys, um, if Shaq made his free throws, I mean, damn, he would have been pretty much, like, close, like, pretty damn close to the GOAT. The GOAT. I'm not talking Michael Jordan. Like, number one spot. Maybe not quite that, but, you know, uh, at the end of the day, Shaquille O'Neal, still one of the best big guys that ever play game basketball. Anyway, let me all know your thoughts in the comment section below. Where would you rank Shaq if he could make his free throws? Peace out, my friends.